Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com. And today we're gonna talk about inputting keyboard shortcuts using gestures. Because there's a problem I've been trying to solve. And the problem is I want an ergonomic way to enter lots and lots of keyboard shortcuts, but I ran out of buttons. <laughs> I know my, my keyboard setup is large. I have a normal keyboard plus a G13. And most of my time, my left hand stays on the G13. But even still, no matter how much I tried, there were still more commands than I could comfortably map onto my left hand. So I have a problem. Well, recently, the solution I've come to allows my right hand to do more of the work. So here's what it looks like. I push a single button on the G13, which tells my computer to start listening for gestures. And then the gesture is input with my stylus. So watch what happens here in Photoshop. So that right there was a very simple down gesture. It can be really long like that. It can be really short. And it is tied to keyboard shortcuts. This is very cool. What this means is a single button on my left hand combined with a wide variety of gesture shapes with my right hand just multiplies the amount of commands that I can enter. So now I sort of have two choices. I can put commands on just the G13, just my left hand, or I can decide to put them on my right hand, on my stylus. Now, the really nice thing about gestures on the computer with an implement like this is that you have much more fine motor control. Because with smartphones, we've gotten very used to a few gestures. There's pinch, there's swipe, tap. These sorts of things are about as technical as we can get. Any more detailed and it can't really recognize them. Well, we've been training our hand-eye coordination. We have a very sharp, detail-oriented instrument called a stylus, and it's really good at making really controlled lines. So what that means is I can set up any range of gestures. From a computational standpoint, there's really no limit to how detailed your gesture can be. It's just a choice of, well, how much do you want to remember? The next really neat thing about this gesture software is that you're not limited to a single keyboard shortcut. It can be what they call a macro, which is a list of commands played out in order. So let's come back to my paste gesture here. So I do straight down. Well, it did actually two things there. It did paste, and then it also activated the free transform tool. That's actually two steps. So it was control V for paste, followed by control T for free transform. Now, I did that because almost every time I paste, I realized the next thing I always do is free transform. So it just was a sort of quality of life thing. It made more sense to rope them into a single command. Now another one I did is even a few more steps. So let's say I wanna just grab uh, this planet right here. Now there's a whole bunch of layers underneath that. So something I'll commonly do is I'll do a copy merged and then I'll paste and then I'll free transform. So that's three steps. Well, once again, I have a gesture for that. So there, it just did those three steps in the blink of an eye. But for now, just know that this is a really interesting way to kind of offload work from your left hand and share some of it with your right hand to do stuff that you just do all the time. Like one thing I do is levels. So down right for me is levels. I also have hue saturation. These are things that I would have made a keyboard shortcut if I had the space but I ran out of buttons. So before the next video, I encourage you to check out the software Strokes Plus. Currently it's only available for PC, but I think it is really powerful and also it's free. So there's a link in the bottom of the post for that. And next week we're gonna go into more detail about my setup. Thanks for coming to the site guys.